We're now going to look at copying and deleting components. And as I've stated before, these are general drawings. So you can see that we have a drawing gen, copy and deleting components. It hasn't, however, been added to our project yet. So again, like before, select the project, right click, add the active drawing. Apply the project default values by saying yes. Let that all sort itself out. And as you can see, it's numbered up 003 automatically. And we've got that in our drawing list in our project. I can't stress enough how important that is. Please get into that habit of checking your drawing name and making sure that it's added to your project because it then links to the AutoCAD Electrical Database and it saves you a lot of work and effort later trying to find that drawing and find the components that are showing up in your bill of materials in your electrical project. So copying and deleting. If I go to the Home tab on the ribbon and just select AutoCAD Copy like so, it prompts me to select objects. So if I select RAM01, right click, it asks for a base point. So if I put my object snaps on, and I'll go from, let's say, that endpoint snap there, and I'll go to, say, shift and right click, and I'll go for the nearest snap on this rung here on the wiring ladder. So if I put that there and press Enter, can you see all I've done is copy the block reference? I haven't actually inserted that into the wiring circuit. All I've done is copy it and sit it on top of that rung of the wiring ladder. Not very helpful. So I will just undo that. Let's have a look now if I actually copy the component. So if I select the component like that and right click, again, on my little flashlight system here, I've got copy component. There's the component being copied. I'll just drop that in anywhere on that rung there. As you can see, it updates the project, but the nice thing about it, it's asking me what I want to tag that particular component. I've already got RAM01 to 04. This one needs to be 05. I'll OK that now, and what I can do is if I do OK repeat, I can place another relay switch. If I place that one there, like that, again it updates. Again, it prompts me what value do I want, so I'll put in six, and I can label them accordingly. Now, what I can do quickly there is go back to the schematic tab, find a line, and I'll go with RAM01 because I know that I aligned to that earlier, and I'll select 05 and 06, enter to confirm, and they're all nice and neatly aligned. So you can see that copy and align component are very, very useful when used in conjunction with each other. What about deleting though? What about deleting components? Well, you can just zoom in, let's say on terminal one here like that, and I'll click on it and I'll delete it. However, notice the wiring loom on the rungs and the ladders does not update. So I'll just undo that. What I need to do is select the component, right click, and I can actually delete the component. Again, it's on my little flashlight system here. When I delete that, it updates the wiring. Much, much quicker, much, much cleaner, but more importantly, keeps the database intact. You'll notice it's just connected that wire from there to there. If I zoom in on this one, let's select the component, right click, and I want to delete the component again. So over here, delete component, and you'll notice it updates the wiring. There's one wire there crossing that wire there. Now I could obviously edit those wires if I wanted to. I'm not going to in this case. And I'm also going to select component three there, terminal connector three. I'm going to delete that component and you'll notice it updates again. And also four, right click, delete component. So you'll notice now I've just got a group of wires coming off of this rung here. Now what I could do is delete those wires if I wanted to, or I could insert another component again if I wanted to. All you've got to do there is obviously join them in and link them together. Now, I'm not going to bore you with that, but you can see that when you use delete component, the wiring remains intact. You can see you've got a connector there. Can you see the block reference there? And if I come up here, I've got another one here as well where it's touching onto this wiring here. Now, obviously, deleting is important. Be aware that when you're deleting components, deleting wiring, you're also orphaning entries in the AutoCAD electrical database. So just be aware of that when you're working in AutoCAD Electrical. Anything you just delete by using Erase or Delete 
there will be an orphaned entry in the database for it somewhere. So you should be tidy and use delete component. That way it updates the database correctly. There are two conditions for contacts in AutoCAD Electrical. You have a normally open contact, an NO contact, and you have a normally closed contact, an NC contact. Now, before we start working with those contacts and their conditions and their settings, what we need to do, good CAD practice, we add our current drawing to the active project. So there's the active project there. Right click. We add the active drawing that we've got. Yes, we apply the project default values. And there's our 001 general open and close contacts drawing. Good thing is, it's the first drawing in this particular project, and it's 001, it's all set up and ready to go. You'll notice in this particular drawing, we are using JIC, the American Imperial Standard. Doesn't matter which standard you use for these, these are general exercises that we're doing that could be used with JIC or IEC. So let's have a look now. What we've got in the drawing, in this case with our open and close contacts, you can see that we've got one, two, three open contacts there on our wiring ladder. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to insert some closed contacts over here on the other side of this part of the wiring here. So I go to the schematic tab on the ribbon. I go to the icon menu. I want some relays contacts there and you'll see there's the relay normally open contact. There's the relay normally closed contact. So if I click on normally close, I've got snap and grid on on the status bar, so I can just snap. There's one there. It updates the project, and I'll put in there CR04, and OK that. So there's our CR04 there, like so. I can right-click and I can repeat that command, and it will remember to go back to the icon menu. Relay contact. I want another NC contact, and I'll place it just there. It updates the project, as you can see, and this will be CR05. 05 and what I can do is do an OK repeat and there's the third one and I'll call that one CR06. So I've got those placed like so and you can see the difference. An open contact as you can see an NO contact has no line across it whereas an NC normally closed does. Now instead of having to insert normally open or normally closed what I can do here is I can actually toggle between those two conditions. I use this icon up here, toggle NONC. It's on the edit components panel. If I just hover over it there, you can see it switches a selected component between the normally open and the normally closed contact state. So it looks at the selected contact, reads its block name and checks for the fifth character and whether it is a one or a two and it looks for the matching block name with the opposite one or two and swaps it. It's that simple. It just looks in the database for the block, finds the one it needs, and off it goes. Let's do a toggle on this CR01 here. If I select it now, it's now a closed state. Can you see that? It's an NC rather than an NO. I'm just going to switch off Snap and Grid. It's less jerky. So we click there, and we click there. So they're now closed. If I click on the closed ones, they do the opposite and open up. So they're NO state now rather than NC. And then I press Enter to finish. What happens if I click on one of these open ones here and I right click? Can I change the component? Can I edit it? Can I flip it? If I go down here to Attributes, can I edit the attributes? Well, at the moment, that's going off the screen slightly. So what we might do there is just move away, hit Escape. What I'll do is I'll pan down a bit here, and instead I'll select CR04. Then we get to see all of our flashlight tool. So I've got attributes here. I've got list, edit, move, hide, edit, rotate, squeeze, stretch, or attribute size. It's none of those. Reverse flip component. That's actually reversing or flipping the component in the drawing. So you'll notice there's no way of actually editing that component. If I go here, though, update there, that allows me to edit it there, but it doesn't actually allow me to edit the settings, you'll notice. If I go show edit miscellaneous, again, that's just a miscellaneous descriptor field. 
So I can't actually do it. So the only way that you can actually do this is up here on the Edit Components panel. There's nothing on the shortcut menus at all to do this. So you do have to use Edit Components, and it's this toggle N-O-N-C. And you select the one that you want, and it toggles it like so. It's a great toggle, saves you having to insert icons and components, saves you having to edit. You've just got to toggle it either N-O or N-C. Very easy.